This is Anna Hoffman with Content Boomerang, and in this video I'll show you the best way to embed a SlideShare presentation into a blog post. Let's start with the easiest way first. Embedding a SlideShare deck into a blog post can be as easy as pasting the link into WordPress Post Editor. Just like that. And there it is. However, the resulting embed won't look nearly as good as it should. Take a look at this. As you can see, the embed looks quite small. It's aligned to the left. And if the presentation was created with a 16 to 9 ratio, in other words, it's widescreen, you'll see the black background like you see here above and below the slides. You can definitely do better than that. I'll show you how to pick the best size, align it to the center of your page, and get rid of the unnecessary code, like this stuff down here. Let's go back to SlideShare. For this, we are going to click the Share button just under the player and find Embed Code. Click on this and you will see the full string of Embed Code. Now that you see that you can change the size of the embedded presentation, as well as choose which slide you'd like to start it from. Most of the times, though, you do want your presentation to start with slide one, so we will leave the setting alone. And by the way, I did play with the code to figure out if you can end on a certain slide. That would be a lot more useful, but unfortunately, I couldn't. So once again, we will leave this one alone. Let's get back to the size. Remember, we talked about aspect ratios in one of the early content boomerang lessons. Aspect ratio is the ratio of the width to the height of an image or screen. You know that SlideShare presentations can be uploaded in either 4 to 3 or 16 to 9 aspect ratio. However, every size you see in this drop down menu is 4 to 3 ratio. So, if your presentation was created with 4 to 3 ratio, you're all set. Simply pick the desired size from the drop-down menu. Then copy the embed code and paste it into the text editor of your blog post. However, if you created your presentation with the intent to repurpose the ish out of it, which is exactly what Content Boomerang training is all about, then you listened to my suggestion and created it in a 16 to 9 aspect ratio. In that case, you'll need to tweak the, the embed code just a bit, and I'll show you how to do it, of course. So, first, you simply copy the embed code as is, we're not going to worry about the size for this specific reason and paste it into the text editor. Of course, I already have this one here. I'm going to delete that. We're going to go to the text editor of your blog post and paste the code here. Now we need to edit the width right here and the height of the embed code to make sure that, you know, we don't have those pesky black borders. Right here, we'll start with the width. And instead of what I have here right now, which is 595, I'm going to enter 740. Why 740? Because I played with the code quite a bit. And um, these are the best numbers that look great on most computer screens and do not produce any black border whatsoever. So once again, the width is 740, and then the height would be 454. And voila, let's take a look at it. See how much better it looks? It is now completely widescreen and you cannot see any black borders. But we're not done yet. Let's go back. So, um, let me note something, by the way. Um, mobile devices. So, when your presentation is viewed on a smaller screen, let me show you what I mean here. 
the black borders will be back. So I'm going to resize this as if my screen is getting smaller and see how the black borders are coming back. Unfortunately, there's nothing we can do about that. So my best suggestion is to embed with the majority of your audience in mind. Does most of your traffic come from desktop? Then make your embed 740 by 454. In rare cases, when a site gets more mobile traffic, embedding a smaller size deck makes more sense. And if that's you, you'll just have to play with the dimensions a bit to figure out what looks best. Now that your presentation looks perfect size-wise, there are two more details to tweak in the code. Getting rid of extras and aligning its center. What do I mean by extras? This. Links that lead readers away from your site back to SlideShare. There's absolutely no reason for that. Sorry, SlideShare. Remember the reason you're using SlideShare to begin with, or any third-party website uh, for that matter, is to bring traffic back to your site and convert them to leads and customers. Does sending them back to SlideShare serve the same purpose? Not even close, of course. So we need to get rid of the string of clo uh, <laughs> close keep on, but code that translates into links back to SlideShare definitely has to go. To do that, we're going to go back to our embed code and find iframe. See the top part of the embed code is the iframe. It starts with iframe, it ends with iframe. Everything below it starts with division and ends with division tag. That's what results in those two links back to SlideShare. So we're going to simply delete that. As a result, when we go back to preview our embed, see there are no more links at the bottom leading to SlideShare. Last but not least, let's make sure the embedded presentation is in the center of your page. You see mine right now looks like it is in the center of the page, so it doesn't really make that big of a difference on smaller computer screens or even 15 inch. I guess that's about an average computer screen. But it definitely makes a difference as computer screens get bigger. All we do here is surround the code you have with this string. I'm just going to paste it right here so that you can see what I mean. This is the beginning of the string. We're going to copy and paste that right in front of the iframe. And this is a closing division tag. So we're going to paste it right after the end of the iframe code. And I'm going to delete that. And by the way, don't worry because you will get all these codes in the notes in your Content Boomerang lesson. Let's sum up. One, you need to copy SlideShare embed code and paste it into the text editor of your post. Two, change width to 740 and height to 454. Three, get rid of everything that comes after iframe. And four, align your presentation to the center. Done and done. And if you're listening to this and you don't yet know what Content Boomerang is, you should definitely check it out. You might be pleasantly surprised to learn that the content you create doesn't have to rot in your archives, but it could in fact be put to work through content repurposing and continue to bring traffic and leads back to your business perpetually. I'm Anna Hoffman, and I'll see you in Content Boomerang.